Hey there, Spicer fans. Randall Spear, Motorsports Manager for Dana. Team Spicer's out here in Moab, Utah, the week before Easter Jeep Safari, which we're going to term Engineering Week. We're out here testing new products and new technology that we're looking at for the future to bring to market, to run on your vehicle, to go off-roading, to make your adventure a lot more fun, a lot more safe, a lot more enjoyable. Behind me, there's a couple of really neat Jeeps, and I'm going to interview each of the engineers that's behind each of the products that are underneath these Jeeps and get a little more background on what we're doing out here. We're here with Zach Heise. He's the engineering manager for the Dana Aftermarket Group, and he's going to explain the cool things we've got underneath the Spicer Jeep. What we have under the Spicer Jeep this year at Easter Jeep Safari is a kingpin version of our ultimate Dana 60 front axle. Let me show you what I mean by that. Instead of having traditional ball joints, top and bottom, we have much stronger kingpins, top and bottom. And for the first time ever, a SPL 70 joint is being used in this kingpin setup. So we have a new tube yoke and a new knuckle that'll spin SPL 70 and have kingpins. We've improved the kingpin angle. We've also incorporated the six hole pattern for high steer arms on both sides. The rear axle in the Spicer Jeep this year at EJS is a prototype Dana 80 axle that we've been working on for some time. It has a 286 millimeter 11.25 inch ring gear, four inch diameter tubes, thick wall. All the brackets to mount it into a Jeep JK Wrangler and the same brake package that we have on our Ultima Dana 60s, 14 inch disc brakes with dual piston calipers. Right now we have the ARB locker in because we have a 40 spline 1.71 inch axle shaft. When we are developing our Dana 80 40 spline wheel ends, we need to increase the size of the spindle to fit that 40 spline shaft. We also increase the outer diameter of the hub that we're able to keep the 8 on 6 and a half bolt pattern so we can still use our big brakes. It also includes one of the largest bearing pairs available in the market today. I'm here with Jason Setters. He's the engineering manager for Dana's Advanced Chassis Control Systems. He's here to explain what he's doing with this cool Jeep over here and the cool axle technology that he's developing. So our group has taken a uh, tried and true military product, the Central Tire Inflation System, and uh, adapted it to this uh, vehicle with JL axles in it. Gives us the ability to inflate and deflate tire pressure at any point in time, whether you're sitting still or going down the trail, push a button, psh, psh, up and down it goes. It's, it's made it pretty fun because I can just hit the button and leave and the rest of the guys are still messing with valves and stuff. So it's pretty cool. So we did this by getting air through the axle back here. It comes out the front and you can see this hose attachment here. Comes into this assembly. These are custom bead locker rings that are team designed together to incorporate the wheel valves out here. So we got a wheel valve here, quick release valve here. This acts as our check valve in here and keeps tire pressure where it should. This is our deflate point. This is where the air actually comes out and you, psh, you just hear it running out. Uh, we drop it from 28 PSI down to 12 PSI in two minutes flat. So it's a pretty quick, I mean, as you're coming up, hit the button, down it goes. Um, and you can see these, these rings have done a pretty good job of protecting the components. We've got a few nicks here and there, but uh, they did their job, kept the components safe and secure in the air where it should be and our Jeep going where it should have been going. So it's been pretty fun, half dozen trails so far, no incidents. It's been great. Uh, really excited to have the rest of the world see this system and see what it can do for people. For people. We're here with Rick Sigmund. He's uh, the engineering manager for the Jeep JL axles, and he's going to talk about the cool axles underneath this Jeep right here. This vehicle features our new Dana Advantech front and rear axles, freshly designed for this model year. As you look under here, <clears throat> this axle is essentially completely stock, except for 48, 488 gear ratios that were selected to match the 37 inch tires and the blue cast iron diff cover. The only other modification to the vehicle is a three and a half inch lift to clear the tires. The key features of the new Dana Advantech 44 axles are really power density, mass reduction and efficiency. What we're able to do is take the traditional JK axles and shrink down the ring gear size and adjust the high point offsets that saves a significant amount of mass in the carrier and other supporting components. This vehicle has gone through the same trails that these other aftermarket vehicles have um, with essentially production axles. This is the Dana aftermarket JL. Uh, we provisioned it with ultimate Dana 60 axles. 
Uh, continuing on the success of uh, the Ultimate Dana 60 axles for the JK, um, very similar. And here we'll talk about some of the features and benefits. Um, as you can see here, it's got an nodular iron cover. Uh, this is to protect the gears that are in here. Uh, for the front, that's a 256 millimeter gear. It's 10 inches. In the rear, it's a nine, nine and three quarters. Um, super thick, strong tubes. We got thick brackets. We've actually turned these around so they act like skid plates to protect the lower control arm mounts. You got big thick C's, a big knuckle, a massive SPL 70 wheel joint, and 35 spline chromoly axle shafts. And then big Dodge brakes uh, on this to help stop you when you're uh, you know, heading down the fall. Um, they're also provisioned with an ARB air locker or an Eaton E locker. Uh, and your gear choices are 373, 410, 488, and 538. So again, this is, this is plug and play for the JL now. Um, you can uh, bolt these up and go hit the trails and have a great time and uh, show up your buddies.